Hello, welcome to Study English with Shelly. My name is Shelly. I'm here to help you learn some English. So let's get started. Today is the first video on a series that I'm going to do on American slang. Slang can be a very difficult thing for non-native speakers to learn. Sometimes you don't know when it's appropriate and when it isn't. I'm going to take you through a series of just short video lessons to show you a little bit of everyday expressions and help you get the idea of how to use slang appropriately. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. Hello? Oh, hey, Sally. How's it going? Nothing much. I'm just sitting around the house. Dinner tonight? Hmm, sounds tempting. But to be honest, I am beat. And my dogs are barking. It's been a long day. Can I take a rain check? Tomorrow night. That sounds like a good plan. Okay. All right, girl. Give me a call. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See ya. Let's go ahead and take a look at it in writing. Hello. Oh, hey, Sally. How's it going? Nothing much. I'm just sitting around the house. Dinner tonight? Hmm, sounds tempting. But to be honest, I'm beat. And my dogs are barking. It's been a long day. Can I take a rain check? Tomorrow night? That sounds like a good plan. Okay. All right, girl. Give me a call. Okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow. See ya. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the slang expressions here that you may not understand or may not know. First thing, I answer the phone and I ask Sally, how's it going? How's it going is an expression for how is everything? It's just an expression that we use when we greet each other. Instead of saying, how are you? We might say, how's it going? Then Sally asked me what I was doing or what am I up to? And I responded, nothing much, which meant I was doing very little, nothing important. I told her I was just sitting around the house. This is an expression that we use, which means that we're just relaxing and we're not doing anything at all. Sally then asked me if I wanted to go to dinner, but I was too tired. So I told her even though it was tempting, which meant that I really would like to do it, I was beat. I told her I'm beat. And that's an expression for I'm exhausted, meaning I am so very tired. I told her it's been a long day and my dogs are barking. Well, I know this is a strange expression, but we use this expression when we're talking about our feet hurting and aching. If you've ever stood on your feet all day long at work, you know what I'm talking about. Your feet are hurting so badly that it almost feels like they're talking. And so we say, our dogs are barking. So I asked her, since I would like to go out to eat with Sally, if I could take a rain check. This is asking if we can do it another time. Meaning, I really would like to meet with her. She's my friend. I enjoy dinner with her. But I'm not really in the mood tonight. So can I take a rain check means, can we do it another time? Sally res responded with asking me to go to dinner tomorrow night. I thought about it and I told her it sounds like a good plan. Sounds like a good plan or it sounds like a plan means that it sounds good, let's do it. Meaning, let's plan for that. Could also say, oh, it's a date. So then I told her to give me a call. Give me. Sometimes in American English, we shorten the words a little bit and kind of run them together. Instead of saying, give me, I might say, give me. Give me a call. And then we said our goodbyes and I told her, see ya. See ya is just slang for see you. See you later. 
Okay, well, that concludes our conversation lesson. A little bit of slang expressions for you. I hope you've had a good time learning English with me today. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.